Hey there, friends. Kevin from the Core Progression Podcast. Do another reaction video, and today we're going all the way back over to Japan with the band Sailing Before the Wind and their song Vanishing Figure. Now, I've known Sailing Before the Wind for a while now as a band. I've tried bringing them on the podcast before, but it just has not worked out. I still want to bring them on, though. But because we talked with Cody Frayne from Ascent Like Wolves, and he mentioned that there is a killer song featuring Sailing Before the Wind on their brand new album, Distant Dystopia, trust me, it absolutely is killer. I'm like, we got to listen to more saying before the win. I want to get more into these guys because Japanese metalcore, let me tell you, it absolutely kicks ass. Before we jump in, though, if you're not subscribed to the podcast channel, hit subscribe right down here. Brand new episodes of the podcast every single Tuesday and Thursday with some of the best artists in the scene and some of the most newer artists in the scene that are going to be the biggest ones in the scene going forward. Don't miss out on getting to know about them and for these Friday reaction videos. Without further ado, let's go. You are the best. Already solid melodic metalcore right away. Maybe wish it was a little more manic, but we gotta see where the song's gonna go with this. Quite an interesting groove to this intro, though. Oh boy, fill time! Mix might be a little overpowering on the guitar over the vocals, but now I see why. Wow! That higher pitch is so well done on this. Man, those sweeping backing vocals to really amplify the uncleans. Well done on this. Little attack attack vibes here. But more melodic. This is a lot more dancey and groovy than I thought it was going to be for Sailing Before the Wind. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, Sean Hester of Life Itself. Now we got a great mix on here between guitars and vocals. Now I'm just getting a little more manic for my taste. Kevin Happy. We go into course, we go into something crazy. <laughs> this is mad. This keeps going. I was not expecting that. And now we get something so much softer and more programmatic. That's an insane contrast, though, going into this. With that bass rock line. Oh, yeah. What's a bass rock? Bass line, baby. Whoever that guitarist is deserves a freaking raise. If you're in the U.S. you don't know about this band, you should. Um. Woo 
That guitar works a lot more technical at the end, but nice. Oh, we're going to have some fun talking about this one, my friends. Before we get into the breakdown, do you like sleeveless t-shirts? Your torso is warm. But what of your arms? Do you like coffee mugs with inspirational phrases on them? Just do it! And do you want a podcast that's going to bring you the best in rock and metal from what is new and what is on top right now? If you said yes to any of those three, please hit subscribe on the Corporate Russia podcast right down here. We are bringing you the best bands in rock and metal and the best new bands in rock and metal for you to check out, discover, and get to know so much more about than you will anywhere else. And when it comes to the bigger bands you already know a lot about, we're going to dive deep into interviews with them and bring up stories that you're going to only hear when you come to the Corporate Russian Podcast. So come check it out, hit subscribe, become part of the family. And now, to the breakdown. So that was Vanishing Figure by the Japanese metalcore band Sailing Before the Wind. And I was expecting something a little bit more manic because from the songs I've heard from them previously that I do enjoy, expecting something a little bit heavier, crazy, more manic, but... What we got here was something a lot more different in terms of what I was expecting, specifically from that guitar. I mean, it had a much higher pitch, it had this much lighter sound to it compared to a lot of other things in metalcore, but it did a fantastic job when it came to contrasting the vocals that we were seeing here, while also at the exact same time putting together a massive contrast when Sean Hester of Life Itself came in and really brought some more heavy, aggressive, unclean stylings. That was something that really stood out here. However, the mix in the verses without Sean, that was something I had a little bit more of a trouble with because that guitar did overpower the vocals a little bit too much in my opinion, but that's just where I stand on it. The chorus being a lot softer, lighter, a little bit more airy, kind of like an early attack attack type thing. That was something I really enjoyed a little bit more than the melodic side too, but it brought a little bit more of this lightness to the song that I was expecting, especially when we got into Sean's part right after it really made that contrast stand out with a lot more power. When the breakdown hit, love what they did with it, but then when Sean came back in and we got a lot more just like chuggy, slam, doom metal style, was not expecting that at all, but it shows the talent that this band has and how, especially from the guitarist standpoint as well, really flowed with everything and created such this ambiance in the song with the way the tonality was of his guitar and the way he was able to play it. Now, also that bass line that was in there going into the final chorus, <laughs> that was something I was not expecting, but ooh, was that needed to really make this bad boy stand out. Now, does it make me want to check out even more single for the one that I already have? Oh, absolutely. This band, I'm used to especially being a little bit more manic with the songs I've heard before, but this one had a little bit of a different flair to it, but it shows the evolution. It shows how much more they're able to do, and it makes me even more excited to check more of their stuff out, which you should be too. So let me know what you thought of the song. Put it in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit the like button right down here. If you're not subscribed to the podcast, once again, hit subscribe right down here. Thank you guys once again. This is Kevin, and I'm out.